Angelos TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. And now to Rev. Michael Sass. Praise the Lord. It was wonderful going through Psalm 103. It declares of the benefits of the mercies of God. Today I want us to look at what really, what, you know, what, you know, how does, how is God revealed in his mercies? And mercy in relation to God, that's what I want to look at, mercy in relation to God. And what I want us to look at is that, um, you know, mercy is who God is. God is merciful. He is slow to anchor, uh, full of compassion. Uh, when you open, when we go back to Psalm 103, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, bless his holy name. And notice that verse 8 says, The Lord is merciful. Now, the Lord is merciful, so that is who he is. He's so full of mercy. It is important for every child of God to know that when we say God is merciful, it's not just for the sake of saying that. You are the recipient and beneficiary of the mercies of God. It is because of his mercies that Jesus died on the cross for you. It is because of his mercies that you have been forgiven of your sin. It is because of, of his mercies that he has not destroyed you. So the mercies of God reveal God. It is how God is. God is revealed through his mercies. Let us read Psalm 114 and verse 4. It says, God is full of compassion. It is interesting how often when we relate to God, we are not really sure who he is. We think we know, but let me tell you something. God is not part mercy. God is mercy itself. God is everything mercy would ever hope to be. He is the kind of, the, of a Lord to us, and I, I and and I sure am glad. I have. I hope you are too. He is full of compassion. Psalm one hundred and fifteen, verse five. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. It refers to who He is. God is gracious. God is merciful. It is important for you to know the person of God, that he is a very merciful God. He is so merciful that he is willing to heal you. So merciful that he is willing to get you out of your financial quagmire. He is so faithful and merciful that he is willing to come to where you are, in the very ditch where you, sometimes you duck for yourself and pluck you out of it. That is why the psalmist David says, he restores my soul for his name's sake. Because of his mercy, he restores me. It is me who went astray. It is me who veered off from the path of righteousness. But he is not waiting for me to come. He is looking for me. I did not choose him. He chose me. The reason why he chose me, I cannot explain it. I, if there is anything that I can use to explain the reason why God reached out for me, it is his mercies. 
So I want to encourage you to hang in on the mercies of God and realize that mercy is who God is. Mercy is the person of God. Mercy is the character of God. So I want you to, you know, because, you know, we, we have grown up just look, knowing God as a judge, which is true he is. But before he's a judge, God is full of mercy. He forgives. He's patient with his people. And so it's very important for us to know that because that will then become the foundation and it will enable us to reach out to people. Jesus was moved by mercy and compassion to heal the sick. And there are, there are many miracles that are not happening in your life because you have not gotten the revelation of the masses of God. It is not any amount of schooling that you have that God is, that, that, that you have, that, I mean the amount of schooling that you have that will determine who you are. It is the masses of God that will determine who you are. He chooses the ample and picks them from the dust, from the, from the ground, and sits them together with the kings because of his mercies. Father, I want to thank you and give you praise and glory because you are merciful. And because of your mercies, Lord, we have not been consumed. Because of your mercies, Lord, we are who we are today. Because of your mercies, we live. Because of your mercies, we enjoy health. Because of your mercies, we have victory over everything that come against us. So Lord, I pray your blessing upon every man and every woman that looks up to thee. I pray that God today, we all come to the realization of the mercies of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.